Oh, Batman's like stretching in his sleep right now. Oh, same time as me, I get up to stretch. Oh no, we're skipping yeah, we're skipping three character for Prim, we're just going straight two character. Actually screw that, why even do two characters? Let's just go one character. Oh wait, I already did that. Haha, <laughs> beat you all to it. Do you guys here fooling around with your free character routes? I got a one character route. Get, get on my level. Come on. <sighs> Silly speedrunners needing three whole characters for the speedruns. Hey, okay. The speedrun isn't necessarily about speed, okay? It's about the journey. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think you could probably get like a 56 of that time, but I don't think it's gonna get any lower than that, that route. Sadly. I mean, maybe if you just, like, skip a bunch of stuff and get a billion procs and, like, perfect inhibit defenses, you can probably get, like, a 50. Like, we can get TAS, uh, TAS RNG. Well, it's possible for Therion, but, like, based off Lost Course testing, it wasn't practical. I agree with it. I was there with him. I was watching that stream. The problem with Varian 2 characters, you need to get an Inferno Amulet, and Inferno Amulet is in Victor Salvo, which is nowhere near where you want to go. And then there's the obvious other costs. That was the whole issue with Varian uh, 2 character. Because you needed to survive uh, Darius's fire attack, I forgot what it was called, but... Oh, Will-O-Wisp, you needed to survive Will-O-Wisp with Varian, and you needed the amulet for that. The sad thing is, Therian goes to Marcelum, and there is an Inferno Amulet of Marcelum, but it's the one freaking NPC behind the Garden Door. That's like a level 60 challenge. So if like if you could actually get that in Marcelum, two character strats might actually be a thing for Therion, but yeah. The one item that we that's needed for that is like the one you can't reach. I mean, it does still matter how many people you have for uh, Darius. Like, uh, for example, two character you can't collect. For turn one, it doesn't matter, but. Past that, it definitely does. Are you? Really? This one? Huh, oh, got this game. Anyway, easy game. Hey. That's the one that, uh, he was getting. And that's why it's like, you get, it ends up slower, because that damn thing is in Victor Solo. Like, it might have been a viable route if there was a closer one. But, like, Therion has nothing to do in Victor Solo. Let alone the pain in the ass of getting through those screens without dying. And the obvious time they have faith. Of course, there's no return. <laughs> Get that elemental blade. Let's go. Mm, I actually don't want that summon wins. This is gonna leave now. That is gonna make them summon mad. Wouldn't better if you attack there. Um... Alright guy, give me the summon wins. Thank you. Sure, not a bad start. Could have been a better battle for sure, but... Take a point about this. No drop. At least for the Tressa Alpha and free character route, there is that Inferno Amulet that's on the way. That's nice. I'm really disappointed that run is just like a little bit too slow, because it's actually super consistent free character route. 
But, like, getting sub-41 with that route is just not reasonable. Because, like, when the when there's no big RNG, the run's decided by all the small RNG. So it's like every extra battle on, like, exploration and stuff is extra painful. But, like, basically it was a guaranteed win everywhere. There could be some bad luck, I feel. Um, like, if Tiger can crit Alfin or No, that wasn't a thing. What was it? Esme can crit Alfin. That was a thing. That was, like, one of the only lost conditions. It's a crazy route. I really wish that route was more viable. Like, I sped it up. It used to go to, like, Hunter and do something else, and I cut that out. So it got faster, but not by enough. But legitimately, if you want, like, say there was, like, a marathon or something, a race, and you could guarantee a Kate, that would be a very good route to use. It's competitive with 4 character. Oh, well, it's probably a little bit slower than 4 character, honestly. But it's super safe. Like I said, the only thing you really die to is like an Alfin crit. Like Alfin getting crit by Esme. Or like the chapter 3 battle, but that's in all of them. Uh, nothing changes there. I swear, I get this meme on this screen every single time. Like, is that battle scripted? That feels scripted, almost. Even with Tressa, I'd always get that meat there. But as far as I know, screens like that aren't scripted. And I feel like I've gotten different- I've definitely gotten, like, ads and stuff before. Maybe it's just really high probability of the meat. Might want to look at the encounter pool for that screen. I won't change anything, just to satisfy my curiosity. Going down definitely feels better instead of doing that shipping thing. 35%, wow. How am I getting that battle every single time? That's crazy. I don't think it's scripted. I don't think screens like that are ever scripted. But I, like, even, like, between this and Tressa, I swear the first battle is almost always a meep there. At least it feels that way. I don't know, probably just confirmation bias. Especially since I got a lot of them today. Tires first. Nice. I'll just point it hat this time, so we don't need to boost the staff. Where's my ice? I haven't gotten one drop from these guys uh, since I started running Ophi again. Maybe I got one, when I, like the first day. I don't know. Alright, should be fine. Oh, I'm awkward. These are so awkward to kill this group. I guess it's already broken, I can attack. This is actually the best turn order for it. Really? That's surprising too, it definitely doesn't feel that way. Yeah, JP is nice. Doesn't do that much, honestly I think the level 3 on Cyrus is more useful than JP. But it could come in handy. It's a slow battle though. And I got the fucking worst possible turn order, Cyrus last. If they beat up Cyrus, I'm probably just gonna heal him. My turn too, OP. Shouldn't be able to die? What am I working with turn 3? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna attack. We're fine. In fact, this actually looks really good. Very good fight so far. 
これでもどうぞ。Hey, bro. I can kill Cyrus. That's not good, obviously. Well, maybe I can get double good um, RNG here. Okay, maybe not. No point defending. I should kill next turn. Probably didn't even need that, looking at his seeing that he's in red HP already. Let's kill. Hey, good fight. And I got the rock, nice. Alright, that's a pretty good start. I have some extra JP. Not way behind, although uh, no no my muscle was decent. My god, I, I swear, learning Luminescence makes this category so much more runnable for me, personally. I don't think I was doing that when I was running this before, way back then. I didn't run uh, non-Kate, honestly. Or, yeah, non I didn't run non-Kate all that often. I wish I ran it more. I did, like, maybe 15 runs. I think that's what my attempt counter was, but I think I probably finished them all. It's useful for, like, the whole grind. It breaks frogs, it's AoE damage on the other groups. But well, mostly the frogs. It gives you something to break the frogs with. So frog battles without the frog two are always a one turn. And that's a fantastic battle to get. That's like perfect. Only thing better than that involves a kitty. Alright. Very good chance that this battle plus anything in Whistlewood without an ambush is enough. I hate this battle. I'm tempted to just run from this, honestly. Ah, no, I should kill it. This battle's so shit, though. I have to burn my Ice S, though. That Ice S is good for uh, potential Saints Ridge battles, too. But as long as I don't get ambushed here, I think I'm guaranteed enough JP. Yeah, that's definitely correct. But the thing is, like, you don't want to run from battles either, because if you don't get that first try whistle, then you gotta farm more battles. Nice try. I appreciate that attempt. This might actually be, like, one short. I guess we'll see right now. This would be close. One or two. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of rare, but you can definitely just skip battles. I skip one every now and then, but I haven't skipped both once since I started running Ophi. I've skipped both before, just not in this category. Or not recently. The walking doesn't do anything. Well, I guess it does. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. You don't have EM when you do it, so walking does do something. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, free battle grind for free battles total. One of them was really fast. One of them was a little bit less fast. But that was uh, that's good. I'm a little bit less likely to have enough JP for EI, but whatever. Uh, for Cyrus anyway. So like if I get a good kill of a battle and trust a one or before I trust a one, I'll probably kill it for the JP. And just so I don't fail to escape, obviously. The failing to escape is a much more important part for me. I, I'm fine with that EI. It would be nice to get it, but not mandatory. <laughs> Maybe you will. Uh, everything you've run has like just gone to Scholar Shrine, right? Uh, what's janky Whispermill strats? Are you talking about the Drakes? I don't feel like it was that janky before, but... Uh... Now we use Thousand Spears of this route instead of going for a flurry. So the Fairy on route used flurry with one person, which was a 50%. This one used Thousand Spears to break, which always breaks at least one. 
Uh, like, every time. But it can be a bit random, obviously. It can break both at once, it can break one, it can break one and break a uh, shield up another. Just RNG dependent. And then uh, the other two characters can both hit weaknesses, so they can go for the other shields. But the accuracy leaves something to be desired. Sanjuron's route uh, gets unerring bracelet, which helps with that battle too. That's kind of nice. I'm not getting unerring though. Uh, this is full YOLO route. This route right here won't finish runs fast. Like, it'll die a lot. But when you get a good run together, you get a very good time. <laughs> 200 IQ strats. Even better, you don't, like, you literally just throw them away. You go to the tavern and remove them from your party. And then run three character without them. Honestly, because of, I'm, yeah, because of Study Foe, that almost sounds like a good idea. Rip. Oh, please don't do the triple failed escape here again, though. Please not that. Just let me out this time. We're cool. Alright, cool. I'm happy with that. Study foe takes too much time, so once we gave Ace some maneuvers, we go to Scholar Shrine, teach it someone else, and we just get rid of Cyrus. Screw that guy. <laughs> Literally go to the tavern and remove him. Or get a fifth character and swap him out, and then do like a single story with like a fifth character recruited. Just for ultra memes. So like... We've done three character routes, right? How about five character routes? How's that sound? I feel like that might be good. Damn it. Never get, uh... Oh, not never. I've once gotten somebody before Micmac, other than the first person. Okay, they took some damage there. So I, I want to watch their levels. I uh, trust the level up always. Cyrus not so much. That's cool. They both leveled. Nice. We're on a good pace. That was a good grind. No extra battles. One failed escape, but whatever. That's not too big a deal. This isn't anything too special, honestly. It's just good. Like, I could be over a minute ahead here. I had a pretty bad uh, grind before. Like, the run hasn't really started yet, honestly. There's so much stuff that needs to go right. Basically, Chapter 2, you gotta get a 50% and a 30% scrutinize. Then you have to not get ambushed. Um, chapter 3, you need to not get any extra battles, hopefully. And get inhibit defenses first three turns. Chapter 4, you need to get double inhibit defenses and hopefully good Drake fights and like cultist fights. And not get a chapter 4 battle, which is actually what I got in my PB here. I got a chapter 4 battle, I lost a minute and 10 to that death. And I could have broken it, but I just didn't have enough money to throw bandits. If I had that or my light small stone that I picked up, I could have broken the battle and escaped. Maddie, you need two inhibits with this route, so it's kind of rough. You can go for a 9 turn fight if you don't get like the first, second inhibit by turn 6. But if you don't get it by 9 turn, um, it's basically dead. You can still win the fight with like Refect the Veil spam, but it, yeah, it's like, the run's dead. At that point, you finish for the memes. Actually, uh, Sanjan posted her to her top tier Matthias fight in Discord, if you want to check that out. Best Matthias fight I've ever seen, personally. I think it's in general. Well, it, it was honestly quality stuff. 
I couldn't pull it off. I ended up in that same situation, but I couldn't win because I ran out of grapes and I and didn't have money for dancers. So I couldn't even get any blinds or anything. That would have helped a lot. Because I was getting uh, wrecked by the physical attacks. And not being able to heal. Because I was out of... Uh... I literally ran out of grapes. How sad is that? Like, how do you run out of grapes, man? I even bought extras, is the best part. That's so crazy. Like honestly. This route's just so crazy. I love it. Like there's only bad ideas in this run. Try screw. Feels good, man. Time to get gold short battle. Hopefully, it's the one I can break if someone wins. Right, never mind. I was like, I should probably scroll my notes up. I'm, just, I'm still on like Matthias notes. Not, honestly, I don't even really use my notes for this, but it's just nice so I don't like forget something. The fights are pretty straightforward. There's some, like, maybe edge cases for Maddie sometimes if you want to try to make weird shit work if he, like, does weird stuff. But generally, it requires giving up a summon, or there's, like, bonuses you can get if you have a good turn order. What was that movement? Oh, come on, I still need a push skip. I need to actually practice that. This is... I'm missing that way too much. Oh. I did like the previous fight a little bit more, just because he had more Elsons to chuck, so it was a little bit more flexible. And you could do some very creative things with it, like since you only needed one inhibit. Like the Reflective Veil turn one, if you attack someone, you boost it. I like that strat right there, but it's very situational now. Because you give up a summon turn, and that's kind of big. That's one more inhibit defense chance, and since you need two, it's a lot less reasonable. Alright, maybe we get lucky here, skip this battle. If not, then that's cool too. As long as you know, it doesn't turn out too badly. If it's like a good battle that I can kill Cyrus and he has a good spot in turn order, I'll probably just kill it. Yes! Even better, just don't get the battle. Uh, that is the best case. You probably won't have enough JP for EI, but a small price to pay. Uh, I'll, I'll gladly pay that tax. It just means you have less, two less dupe chances on Soul Stones. Uh, or Elstones. That is small price to pay for not having to deal with random battles and not taking time to kill them. Of course, we haven't gotten Saints Bridge yet. We can still get other battles. Alright, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna scrutinize the 3k item and I'm gonna buy two Elm Stones. I feel like it's a good strat because if I really want to make up that time, I could just skip the Thunder Ram and Gold Shore, and it basically ends up like almost even at that point. 
And you have more M-Stones to play with for uh, Matthias and Cultus. Like, if you have four for Cultus, you can save an L for Matthias, which is kind of cool. Little things like that you can do. I don't know if I fail to uh, scrutinize. I'll just only do one of them, I think. Only one of the purchases. What I'm waiting for is to fail the 50% five times. I'm sure it's going to happen eventually. And it's going to be absolutely horrible. Because at that point you have to reload and watch the four cutscenes again. I guess you could do the Tavern Restore, but I think the Reload would be faster. Because Tavern, then run back into the church, and then run back out of the church. It's pretty damn slow. Slower than watching these cutscenes, I think. Alright, first try. Easy. Every time. There we go. See? Just get it. I'm getting ambushed, aren't I? <laughs> Honestly, the worst part of this chapter, well, besides the scrutinize, is, is just getting ambushed in Mirkwood. It happens so often, and you just die if that happens. You ain't gonna survive it. You have better chances of surviving a Chapter 4 battle than in Chapter 2 ambush. Which is sad, but... It's the truth. Alright. Compadre, let's do this. Amigo? Amigo. Friend. Alright, that's really good. If I don't get ambushed in the Mirkwood, and like don't get a battle outside Mirkwood, this is gonna be gold. Yeah, we'll say that was easy. You obviously didn't see all the ones I failed. I had three runs in a row where I failed uh, on the 30%. I had one run where I failed four on the 50%. And then I only had one attempt on the 30%, failed it, went to restore rep, and then got it on the next attempt. So it was like the first try screwed up to restore rep. That one felt the most troll, personally. But uh, with this route, there's actually a pretty nice money backup. Um, you collect off of Mystery Dudes, and you skip the answers on Mystery Dudes. And money ends up basically exactly the same, which is kind of neat. But you do lose other backup strats if you go for that backup, so... You really need to inhibit if you're going, if you failed the, uh, if you failed the screws, I need to restore rep. <laughs> nice, made it. Alright, just don't ambush me, please, game. I'll even take the treants, just don't ambush me, that's all I ask. Also, no second battle, I guess, but if I get second battle without picking up anything extra, that's just next level. Yes, please. Bless RNG. This is actually the best face run I've had today up to this point, so it's probably cursed. But let's go. Just don't ambush. All I ask. No ambush. Cool, cool, cool. Yes! Let's go. That's a pretty good battle, too. Okay, I gotta watch Cyrus JP. 146. Okay, I don't have it. Yeah. Merchant. Could have taught that. Could have been fine, but. I can give him cover later. Not really important yet. Check myself on that menu if I uh, no. switch thousand spears. I'm not really used to it. Mm. Nice. That's really good. Opens up a backup for me on uh, mystery dudes. 
So I can win without inhibit now, so it's still not in my favor. Like, I'd have to get a backup stone at that point, it would, it would lose me a lot, but... It's winnable now. Oh, I don't know if There's two different ones, depends which one I opt into. They're both kind of mess, honestly. There we go, new gold. Let's go. Wow, that's actually way more than I thought it would be. Goddamn. You know, I bought the extra M's. I'll probably just... Well... The thing is, there isn't a truly safe strat. I either have to risk accuracy, or I have to risk, uh... Something else. I could this round could definitely get a 45. Um, I have a minute and 10 seconds to save off a death in Chapter 4. Definitely doable. Oh, yeah, I had a good Matthias, but I lost a minute and 10 to a Chapter 4 battle that I died to after trying to break. I realized I couldn't because I was short money for bandits. Uh, I still can't believe that came into play. Even better, yeah, let's do 44. Imagine, though? Imagine getting a 44, no Kate. How insane would that be? The screwed. I always have to check if I've done the screwed already because I never remember. I'm used to doing it late. Disgusting. Well, it's gonna be disgusting is my battles on the next few chapters, I think. My uh, run before this one, I got two chapter three battles, one outside, one inside. Lost a solid minute and a half off that. That was cool. Yeah, it was 47, 43, or 48. It was 40, It was 58, actually. So yeah, I always think it's 48. That was 58. That's what I was, like, comparing my fairy on route to. So it was really cool I beat out the fairy on route, because the mine's, like, the more consistent one. The fairy on route, that is, compared to the inhibit defenses. Well, yeah, this route's stupid fast. It's just stupid fast. I'll decide if I want to get an M stone after uh, this chapter. I don't need it right now, so I'm not going to get it right now. Yeah. Inhibit well, it basically cuts out Rune Blade straight up. I think it's a bit less, because... Inhibit defenses still takes time. Like, uh, getting those procs. And just the summon. All that. But I don't think it's by much. Nice. The thing is, it really needs those inhibit defenses. If it doesn't get them, it's like, it's really fucked. That's the whole problem with this route. It's a very risky route. Yeah, the previous route used an extra vets and uh, no inhibits on chapter 3. 
Now the Bronite set had a lot of L stones for chapter four, so you didn't like need the you didn't need double inhibit on chapter four. Now you need double inhibit on chapter four and inhibit on chapter three. That too. Like this route's really tight. And there's a risk of missing um, in this fight too. You cannot break this guy because you missed. Again? Ah, God. Uh, I don't think I can break this, so I'm just gonna run. I guess I could have done LM Stone. I did get a proc. I think, it, whatever, we'll just die. I, I got this battle two runs in a row. This battle's so unlikely. I, done, I guess I could have done Thunderell on like an M Stone if I lived long enough. But I'd rather just take the death and keep the resources. I can swear, man. Chapter 3 deaths now? Two times in a row? Well, I didn't die last time. I broke it. It was a breakable battle, unlike that one. That battle, I would have had to straight up just kill it. Should have just done it, though. I should have just killed it. Thunderell plus M Stone should have done it. That would have been the right play. Bad turn order. Yeah, welcome to my life. Yeah, bad turn order. Alright, I'm gonna have to play this safer. In terms of accuracy. Nice, let's go. Still gonna lose a shit ton of time, obviously, but... Nice. Alright, we're good. Uh, Palm M. Curse for shenanigans. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's the only way you get a fight here. The fight here is very unlikely. The fight outside is not uncommon, but the fight inside? That shit's super rare. I honestly never saw it running OP before. It just started coming out now. That's like basically a new fight for me. Uh, Alright, so I still have two L stones because I got a proc earlier. That's really good. I'm not gonna pick up the M outside. I'm gonna try to save my. Time. Yeah, I lost. Like 50 seconds off that. No. Yeah, because I skipped the uh, M stone too. It's like 50 seconds lost there. Fucking sucks, man. Well, oh, whatever. It's still PBable. In fact, it's still world recordable, I think. Yeah. If the rest goes smoothly, I can still roll record with this. But, yeah, odds aren't good. I need double inhibits, I need uh, good drakes, I need to not get random battles, they do not die to cultists. There's a lot that needs to go right. I can straight up just take a minute 10 off and I can get that in theory. So that's a minute 45. Wow, actually, insane pace. I've died to these drakes before, by the way. I had the most brutal death I've ever seen to these guys. They ambushed me, did two lower defenses on Ophi and Cyrus, and next turn just both attacked them before they could move and kill them one shot. It was the stupidest death I've ever seen uh, in this fight. And I am worried about something like that repeating itself. Good. No ambush. Uh, I'm just gonna... Nice. Let's go. Cyrus put in work. I got a job I need to do. That wasn't as good as my last one, but it was close. 
The time saver is not dying in chapter four to uh random battle. I'm kinda of short on money. I'm only gonna buy one grape. I get a four two, but whatever. I should never need more than one is a thing. Watch this run be the one where I need more than one, if it's for some weird reason. I could have afforded two. I should have probably bought two. Because I don't have any other ruin use for the money. Yeah, Ophelia is one of the top two girls. I only have one of the top two girls. Yeah, they definitely used to use some less RNGs right now for sure. The hardest part of Matthias, I need to get two inhibits on Matthias, which, uh, yeah, the odds are of that aren't good. In theory, you have nine turns to do it, but you want to do it in the first, like, five. Well, if one of them on being on the first three, which is a lot harder. Good. Huh, they actually spread out the attacks perfectly. That's kind of cute. Alright, start off with throwing M's, then throw now. Maybe extra M's if I have them. Alright, I gotta watch out for that small stone in my inventory. Oh, I do have enough M's. I can kill with M's. That's kind of nice. And I'll have two L's for Matthias. If I get enough Reflect, nice. I think I might be able to kill him with like two unboosted bats. I think I might only need one Inhibit. If I could be close, I would need Reflect damage. So, I'm not sure if I want to go for it. I guess I'll go for it on turn 9 if I don't have an Inhibit by then. I need to map out the numbers here better. Hey, Ophelia, I'd say stop too. Nice turn order. Oh, never mind. Hey, re rolled. I mind. Good, we're safe. Nice, there's the first one. Let's go. What? That ain't it. Oh now, Tressa. Fuck Cyrus. Not yet. We're not done yet. I'm really worried about the procs running out here. I, yeah, I'm gonna defend Osiris. That's smarter. I'll use swords with Opie and I'll defend Osiris. I can't two turn that way, but it's uh, better. I can guarantee you one more chance next turn. Let's go! I got it! Nice game. Just 
just to be sure. I ain't fucking around. Yeah, I didn't need that at all. Whatever. Wasting some frames. It's fine. Oh, almost a 45. Vine throw that Elsa. Oh, I still wouldn't have had it. Yo, easy world record. Let's go. Who needs a kitty in this category? Not me. See, they, these are the risks you take, SRD. GG. And that's with a chapter fucking free death, guys. There was a chapter free death in here. Holy shit. Worry Ward popped off this run for sure. We had nothing to worry about with Mr. Worry Ward putting in work like this. Yeah, this route is disgusting as fuck. This route is so good. The thing is, is like, you can't always finish runs with it. Or without losing a ton of time. But, like... When it when it works, it's so fast. Like this is beatable. This is completely beatable. Without a Kate. Just don't die in chapter three and maybe get a better grind. You can probably get like a sub 44 with like a perfect run. I I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not imagine this with a Kate grinding a Kate with this route. Oh no. You need so much to go right. It, that, that idea scares me. Well, yeah. I'd have, I'd have to route it. Like, if you can get, like, a triple L-stone fight that's pretty safe for uh, mystery dudes, it'd be a lot better. Or maybe a backup. And then if you don't need a backup, only needed one inhibit on Matthias. Something like that would be really good. But yeah, this route's bonkers. I told you guys, this is Ophelia Speedrunning Extreme Edition. This is the Extreme Edition route. God damn, that is, uh, that's pretty sick. I didn't think I'd get record, honestly. I knew I was capable with it, this route, but I didn't think I'd get it today. I'm like, one day of grinding this. I don't think I've even completely optimized this, honestly. Like, I'm sure there's adjustments you can make that make it a little bit better or a little bit safer. I just, I kind of just did runs. Although I do think the route's pretty good. I think, like, any adjustments will be on the small scale. Almost like preference based, but yeah, that's insane. What a what an insane run. What an insane time. Three character OP is super real news. This is all made possible, by the way, by the guide with ease. Uh, scrutinize in the church or the fifty percent scrutinize that lets you get guide with ease. Because it lets you get um, inhibit defense, or it lets you get worry ward in chapter three, or yeah, in chapter three before chapter three fight, which lets you save either like two elf stones or vets. Yeah, Kate outside Whistlewood is actually top tier in this too. It helps you with so much stuff, and you would obviously save the whole grind, which is quite a lot. Like this was a free battle grind. It was a good grind, but it was still grind, and I had a slow battle in uh, Subterranean. So yeah, I don't think this record, like, if people start running this route, I don't think this record's gonna stay up for too long. But I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if I'm gonna grind this, so we'll, we'll see. I'll still do runs of this, though, I think. Uh, it's just really fun to run. I can still beat it, for sure. This is definitely beatable. I still need to get a better feel for Matthias, too. I don't have Matthias completely figured out in terms of, like, damage and how much I need. 43? Without a Kate? Would be really hard, I think. But doable. With a Kate? Completely. Kate outside Whistleward or Kate at the start? Definitely. Hey guys, let's do let's do a quick split review, actually. Chapter uh, 1? Good. Chapter 2? I'd say about average. This was pretty good too. One failed escape on the um, in the Trust tra of One screen. But triple, free battle grind, both of them were, all of them were one turn, but the second battle with two frogs was one of the slow ones. Where you gotta throw the soul stone and, like, uh, ice wind. Uh, picked up the light ass, that's some frames lost. I also bought two extra M's, just in case, and got the scrutinize in, uh, chapter 3. So that's some frames lost, but it's safety stuff. Uh, my chapter 2 split was basically perfect. The only thing that could get better here, I feel, is, like, menuing movement stuff. Like, saving the light ass, for example. Or, um, getting first try scrutes. Besides that, this isn't getting much better. Or, like, if you got a Kate skipping the scrutinize. I forgot with these, because you wouldn't need it. 
if you had a Kate. That's the beauty of getting a Kate. Because you'll be level 15 and you won't need Guide of Feast to uh, guide Worry Wart. Uh, chapter 3, obvious time loss here. I died. This is uh, not a deathless run, by the way. So yeah, that was like 50 seconds, I think. Or close to it, because I also skipped the Thunder Ram. But um, I guess with what I'm doing now, you can always skip the Thunder Ram. It just, it's nice to have extra stones. It makes everything a lot simpler. Uh, and then Matthias was very good, but also not unbeatable. Like, um, you can have a slightly better Matthias fight. You can also have a uh, slightly better Drake fight. And you can have better menuing in the shops and stuff. I'm still not super comfortable with Maddie. Technically, if you know your damage well, you can skip Reflex with Great Bems, and that saves frames too, so it's not an unbeatable split. But it's just like, uh, it's very, very good. It's like ideal fight in terms of uh, turn count, essentially. I, you can do it in five turns too. If, uh, like, if I knew I got Inhibit, if I, need, I got Inhibit on like turn three, I could have five turned this pretty easily. I would have broken turn four and uh, killed a turn five with uh, Vets Cyrus, Vets Tressa, Alstone, Ophi. But you gotta have that in Inhibit up for turn five. It only saves like one action and one like turn transition, so it's not that big a deal. God damn, man, this is this is nutty. But yeah, uh, I'm just go with the credits rock. GG. Still can't believe it, honestly. So like the way I was thinking about this is I had a 47-43 with free character and. Um, like the vets route, where you went to Rune Blade, did vets on mystery dudes, that route, right? So Rune Blade's about two minutes. That fight's a little bit slower, I feel. Although you save some time with the Worry Ward grabbing, uh, that got a little bit cleaner with this route because you already run, you run into the shop and Worry Ward at the same time. So I got a little bit better, but you also have the scrutinize. So I, I gave it roughly two minutes to save, and I thought my forty-seven forty-three was pretty damn good with the free character route, like the previous one. Like, there wasn't any bad splits in it, really. I I don't remember exactly what happened, but there wasn't anything particularly bad, I feel. Maybe you, like, a uh, slower grind, or maybe I had an extra battle that I killed somewhere. I think it was Deathless. So, I'm really surprised this ended up as fast as it did. I did not think you can get, like, 44 on this route. I thought, like, maybe a high 45 would be pretty reasonable, maybe, like, with a perfect run, you can get, like, a low 45. But, like, an imperfect run apparently gets a low 45, just a very, very good one. That's, that's, that's disgusting. Only way to put it. So fast. Alright, I'll type up some notes for this tonight. I still gotta do the Kate route, but I'll type out the notes for the non-Kate route, at least my version of it. Sanjan has her own version too, which is a bit slower but safer. It's on Nering Bracelet, so you don't have miss issues on uh, Mystery Dudes. Has backup L Stones if you don't get Inhibit, I think. Stuff like that. My route's like more on the risky side. This is why it's the Extreme Edition. Uh, you can straight up jump. You can straight up die in Chapter Three for this route, pretty easily. You can miss spears. You can uh, not get Inhibit. Yeah, it's a thing. It's not a thing that I'm using, but it's a thing. I see enough opportunities to, like, prevent misses that I don't go for it. Like, in theory, you can get up to seven attempts on, uh, Mystery Man. If, uh, if the Warrior decides to, like, head smash or attack him, you have, like, seven tries on a Mystery Man. Which is pretty cool. You can turn order, you can have an extra, like, you can spread out your turns of trust and no need a bomb ad. Although, honestly, there's no point in that. It costs you money, even. But yeah, there is a lot of little touches you can make to it, like, to it, which is kind of cool. Alright. There we go. GG. What a hype stream.